Hey guys, welcome back to part three. In the last part, we're getting control of our rewind powers. We're just kind of exploring, getting to know people, and getting to know new areas. And in this part, Warren says he has, um, like he needs to meet us. So let's get into it. Resume game. Oh, I can sit down. It's interesting. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. That pigeon. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Okay. Oh, look at this sign. It says dormitories are over here. So let's, um, oops, didn't mean to do that. What's this? Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher, and I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria mm. wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh my god. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Missing girl? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. We're getting a lot of questions. That's so about cool. The that missing Blackwell girl is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. That must mean that we're probably gonna figure that out sometime. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah. Oof. Kinda glad we didn't tell the principal now. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. I do like her hair. Hi, Max. That's anyone with colored hair, though. If, like, if we see another person with colored hair, we're like, Hey, I love your hair! And they're like, oh, I love your hair. And that's just how it is. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. <laughs> what to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Two. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Okay, she's not really interested in being our friend. No. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield. The selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. 
I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't wow, moving. Wow, rude. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, wow. Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Do I just rewind? Okay, how am I supposed to get her out of my way? Look at that pretty butterfly. Another butterfly. I could crank Look at the rainbow! And give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. How do I crank the sprinkler up? I could up? crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Oh. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Ha 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 ha. Sucker. Do you understand English? Sorry, she looks no, like a pissed off that. wet cat, and she's still stylish. How am I supposed to dump that paint on her? No. I don't know. Do you understand English? Get lost. Um. Oh, what's this? Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Rude. Ooh. Okay. There's only one way around this. Oh, I guess I was taking too long. <laughs> the game was like, listen, bitch. You gotta figure this out sooner or later. <laughs> Keep walking, hippie. No. I don't get it. Um, oh, okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm. A paint bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Okay. We'll see what happens. No. <laughs> One thing about rewinding, you wish you could fast forward. It's being careful, that's good. It works when he holds it, so how is this tampering going to do anything? Oh, okay. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Nice, bro. Thanks so much for- Oh! I didn't, um... Close, but no cigar. They have to be right mm. under the bucket. I forgot at the, about the, the sprinklers, so I have to go all the way back to that. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so he's doing that. I gotta turn up the sprinkler so that they're there. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Okay, let me rewind or fast forward that part at least. The parts I've already seen. 
Okay, it should work now, right? No way! No fucking no way! Yeah! I'm really sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Aw. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Buddy, you got a little, you got a little paint uh, on you. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Let's be nice. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> You deserve a better shot. So. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Okay. Au revoir. Being nice can have its benefits. Victoria probably played me. No. Be nice. What consequences could being nice to her have? I mean, really? Let's see. Red Room. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going to need. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria initiation? Oh. Truly pathetic. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Missing posters everywhere. At least that's Fire an alarm, alarm from this century. True. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Ew. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Write something. Obvious, but true. Okay. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Gandhi. She has a Gandhi quote. That's so funny. Warren should be all over Why? book. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Okay, well. Let's go into our room. Oh, wow, we have a super old teddy bear. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. See, it's so pretty. The Max Caulfield photo memorial wall. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day mom and I sewed that together. Let's see. Hi, honey, your principal sent me an email saying that he was concerned about your attitude and behavior and that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are all grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat. We miss you. Okay, well, he's a goddamn liar. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Wow. Forever and ever. Babe. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Okay. Idiot. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. It doesn't matter. Everyone has a label for everything. There's my poor laptop begging me to. I am so addicted to this site. Camera porn. Look at these vintage beauty porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. 
Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? Be seeing you, Warren G. Okay. Here's my go-to source for instant photo. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Juliet Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Okay. That bite me on the wall. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Okay. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Put a little panda on it. This action will have consequences. Oh no, my plant's gonna be Instant watered. Is so damn it's so hard terrifying. to find and expensive now. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have. It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. I love Cookies. that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. Oh my god. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hell yeah. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. That's pretty good. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Okay, I'm trying to look at the clothes. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Play some music, I guess? Just do happy things. Flowers on her guitar match the flowers that were on the wall. Okay, I could stop it whenever I want. Wasn't really much of anything, but it's better than I could do. I guess let's lie down now. I wanted to do just whatever before I lied down, I guess. <sighs> it feels so just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Inception. Okay, I can end that too. Aren't I supposed to meet Warren? I need to grab the flash drive on my desk before I see Warren. Okay, that's what I needed. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. XOXOD. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from okay. Dana's room. This mirror. Ooh, photo. Okay, okay. Let's go find Dana. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Okay, to the rescue. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? 
Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why okay. I'm talking to you now. What's my last... Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I I'm do. I'm so glad I got it right. Just because I don't talk I, a lot I was doesn't gonna mean go I don't Mason. care. So then I how thought, did you find oh, out about them? Watson. According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. It's just causing yeah. drama. I swear I didn't do anything. Leave I me alone, Max. Get a clue. Know the proof is in her room. Answer you. Victoria's what? room? Okay, mm. do I have to go there? What's that? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. It's open. I like the little lights with the star. That's cute. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I... She has oh, like a million I had cameras. no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting-edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Oh my god. Okay, looks like a bunch of models. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email Victoria I need to show Victoria Juliet. Chase. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Ooh. How do I... Oh. Okay. It has an option not to print it. Okay. I swear to God, it just showed me where the printer is and I did not see. Here it is. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Is the Vortex Club a cult? Hmm. One of Black Mills Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new way of rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Regan era. I just want to read this so I know what it is, because we don't really know. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic that then the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is it just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Okay, by Juliet, by Juliet Watson. So that's why she has it out for Juliet. She posted that article. Take. This better convinced Juliet that Dana is innocent. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. Speaking of selfies. I don't wanna mess it up. I mean, we're right across from her, I didn't even realize. 
Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. Let's help our friend. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay, let's get this flash drive. What a little side quest. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Okay. Must get protect it. my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Wow. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Ooh. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Sorry. Nice, Max. I didn't know what I was thinking. feelings by being so damn nosy again. Okay, let's but I could rewind. rewind and make it up to her. But so we don't do that. Of course, a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. <laughs> this is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at waiting, writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I passed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. It would okay. be a cool sticker without the words. I don't even see what that says. The Vortex Club, I guess, yeah. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I heard a Dana, rumor about you? I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Yeah. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? Ooh. That'd be bad. You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Okay. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Oh. That sounds like I she wanted Dana to keep kept the it. appointment. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Okay. Time to go back to my own room. Okay, guys, I'm going to end part three there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.